So one of the biggest questions I'm getting right now is if I'm even healthy enough for a transplant. To be totally honest with you guys, I don't know. Um, my BMI is 19%. They said it has to be 18%. And so I assume that it is high enough for me to get a transplant. Um, I can tell you I feel weaker and weaker every day. Right now my stomach's descended and it's holding a lot of water. Um, my feet puff up, you know, in the mornings they look great because I've been sleeping with them above my heart and they've been draining. But uh, come three or four o'clock in the afternoon, they're pretty swollen. Um, the hardest part of this entire thing is that my son is three years old and he can see what daddy's going through and he understands to an extent that daddy's sick and that daddy can't play with him. Um, and that's all that he knows is that daddy used to play with him and daddy can't play with him now. So um, this transplant is for, for him and for my wife and for my family and obviously for me so that I, things get back to normal around here that I can work on cars, that I can lift things, that I can drive myself places. Um, I haven't driven a car in six months, guys, and it's really getting on me because it's, it's a source of independence and you don't realize it until it's gone. And uh, it's really, really hard. And so I know I've been sharing some of the harder things about this transplant lately and it's kind of bummer videos but uh i need to update you guys and you got to be able to see both sides of it especially if you're one of the ones that are watching this going through it uh you're gonna lose a lot before you gain it back so just be ready for it um very very quick video guys but have a good day thank you for the support yesterday and if you can please click that subscribe button appreciate you guys